Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here, and yet again, I'm doing another video on Deep Rim. The uh, developer has been pumping out new versions for this, so this is the third new update. So this is Deep Rim version 0.3, and he added a the well, I say he could be a she, I don't know. And uh, they they added a, an update 0.2, which means it's now compatible with this. So this is hardcore SK, as you can see by all the bodies everywhere, everywhere. So yeah, um. But this is actually 0.3 now, and it's changed a few little things. So I'm gonna, I've got debug mode on. I'm gonna cheat and get a few little things put down. So let's get a quick little uh, base thrown up over here. We're just gonna uh, do a basic. Uh, well, I say basic. <laughs> We're cheating. We're having the best of all things. Oh, you wouldn't let me build there, would you? Okay, so we'll do that there. Then we'll do a quick little door. Uh, let's stick a stockpile in here. Okay. Uh, where's there a door? Give me a door. A rustic door, that'll do. Over there and over there. Uh, currently, I've got everyone. Everyone can actually haul at the moment. They're all building roofs. So we're going to just throw some uh, beds down here. And a few basic things to uh, survive, um, just because we can. Uh, let's have a little look. Beds, 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 beds. There you are, you can all have sleeping bags. So, the fact that this supports RimWorld Hardcore S uh, uh, SK now is pretty exciting. So, we're currently building all that up. Right, so... Deep Rim, that's what you're here to see. So, uh, production. We're going to uh, get a little bit of power going. So, I need to get some power generator. I'm going to cheat and just put a... Let's put a... Um, hmm, what should we put down? Will that fit in there? That will not fit in there. Let's do a, a basic power. Let's do some renewable power. Put some solar panels put down. And we're just going to stick these out here. Oh, they look so good. I'm so tempted to start playing Hardcore SK again. But I never actually get as far as this. Right, so we want some batteries in here. Let's do some fishing batteries. Okay, I'm going to connect all this up. I think we can do a heavy power conduit. Hmm, non-flammable. What about the bottom one? Oh, these are hidden ones. Let's just do a heavy one. Let's connect that up. Okay. Let's start getting power. We're going to fill these up. Just because we can. And because we're going underground. That's where we're going, everyone. Okay, so production. So we need a mining shaft. And you've seen that in the last video. So we're going to build that. Now, apparently the... Um, the the areas. Now, someone was talking about the uh, areas, saying that they never thought they'd see Z access in RimWorld. Apparently, these aren't actually true Z axis levels. They're actually new areas, and they're pretty similar to. I think there's a mod called Setup and Camp, which is like a temporary area. So that's what these sort of are. Um, these are taking a long time to build all these. Let me just get rid of these graves. Uh. We've got a mass grave over here, and we're going to allow anyone and anything can go in that one. And we're going to get all those corpses in there. Yeah, so, <laughs> I digress. So, we've got this built here. Now, if you look at this here, we've got change target. We've got, uh, you can do a new layer. So, let's do a new layer and get this drilling. And this was going to start drilling down. Waiting for all these to hurry up and finish doing all of this. Let's put three on construction. Well, let's put them all on construction. I think we've actually done everything we can at the moment. Okay, that's drilling down nicely. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's pausing. It's thinking. Wow, that is that, that is a little bit slower. I guess it's because of the extreme amount of mods that's actually on this. So... You can actually build these on the same layer now. So, if you look at this one here, now if you look down here, that's the important bit you need to see. Drilling complete, depth one. Now, 
If I go just somewhere... <coughs> oh, excuse me. If I go somewhere random on the map, so... Say, for instance, up here. Okay, and then I go ahead and build another mining shaft. Stick that down. We need power, of course, so... Let's stick a few solar things down to it. Now, if we click this, do change target, you can do a different uh, layer of depth. Now, if you do new layer, uh, it's important you realize this. If you do new layer, this is a layer. A layer. Oh, you, uh, I'm not sure, but I'm sure. Is there a river under there? I'm not sure. I will, we'll, we'll explore that. So, yeah, so that is a layer. So that's layer one which you can see by clicking on here and seeing there, depth one. Now, if we come over here, so we want to dig onto the same layer. So we've got multiple things to that layer. So if we do that to layer depth 10, select that, start drilling. Okay, so we're gonna start drilling. So another thing I mentioned, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, it says the, the actual layer, the underground map wealth now counts towards group colony wealth, which is quite, uh, Interesting. So whether that's going to affect raids or not, I don't know. Uh, whether it says uh, you won't get weather effects underground though, so it's not going to be raining underground. If that's what you're all uh, hoping for. Um, I'm going to actually maximise a few of these. Let's, uh, where's max skills? There you go. Let's make some of these super duper. Can I actually maximise my pets? I don't think I can. Right. So we've got this other one building over here. Is it done yet? Come on. It's nearly done. Right. Let's send someone over here. And let's some send someone there. So, Evil Brun is going to this one. And... I oh know, Evil Brun is going to the top one. And Fierce is going to this one. Now, once it's built, you can't change the target. You can abandon the layer, but you can't change the target while you're drilling. So, uh, we can send that one down now. So, Fierce is now on this layer. So, let us let's start mining some of this. Mine, mine, mine. There you go. You get mining all that, buddy. Oh, I guess. Do we not maximize your skills? There we go. Better. Okay. Now, where's fit? Where's uh, evil? Br ah, there he is. Right. Get onto there. And we're going to select that. And now we are going to send you down. Down, down, deeper and down. And we're going to check you out now. And look. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. So we're actually on the same level now. That is cool. Let's try and meet up. So we're going to uh, mine. Let me zoom in and see. So, this goes without saying that this means you can have multiple mining shafts on the level. You could have... I did demonstrate in the other video about doing another layer. Uh, but this makes it even better because <laughs> this basically means you could have a shaft right in the corner of the level. And then you've got another one linking up to it. So, oh, it's so good. Um... These are going to be mine a little bit, aren't they? Let's uh, let's drop them a few meals to keep them going. I don't think they're going to be too happy. Come on, give me some meals. Uh, give you a few canned meals. There you go. There's some food for you. What? You didn't like that food? Why did you not like that food? I think you you you've got issues anyway. You're in berserk state. He's going to take a while to do this. That's the best way of demonstrating it. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty exciting to add to various mods. Now, the only thing is, I've been trying to get this to work on Steam. I can't get it to work on Steam. You can you can add uh, Steam mods to, uh, well, non-Steam. No, 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 let me get it right. You can add to the non-Steam version of RimWorld Steam mods, but you can't add to Steam... Non-Steam mods, I think that makes sense. Yes, you can't seem to add it. So unless this gets uploaded to the workshop, then I'm afraid you can only play this if you're playing the uh, offline version. Well, not offline version, but the non-Steam version. But 
I'm pretty sure that everyone that's got the Steam version can play the other one as well. I'm sure it's that way around. So we're going to dig through this. Hopefully, we're going to meet up. Oh, we've actually got a raid. What? Insectoids have arrived. Now, that's interesting. Now, I've actually had two lots of people raid me. Now, is that because I've got two, two layers? Let's have a little look. Oh, they're actually attacking each other. Hmm. Now, that could be... That could be a bit of a bug. They are coming to uh, try and pew-pew me, though, so... Um... I think I don't really want to fight these. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill them off, just in case they try and kill anything. Right, um, there is a tool to kill, and yeah, let's force them to flee. There we go. Off you go. Off you go, pet. Okay, you're oh, not doing any digging yet at the moment. Come on, wake up, bunch of lazy bums. Let's do a bed for all of these under here. Ooh, what's that? Area revealed. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I I had a feeling this was going to be a cool thing, this area. We've got a freaking underground river. Now, if you played various mods in RimWorld, you'll know there is a actual... Um, there is another mod that lets you do fishing. Just imagine moving the base underground and having underground fishing. Ah, that would be good. Now, could we do? I don't think. I don't think we've got a mod at the moment for doing bridges. Uh, let me have a little look. What would it be under? Furniture. I know there is a bridge mod. I don't think I've got it in this one though. Would it be under flooring, perhaps? Special floors. Natural floors. No, I don't think I don't think we've got an option to do. Oh, we have. You've got to be kidding me. I've just made a bridge in my underground base, and we are gonna link up. Now, the only thing I don't know how you do. Let's have a little experiment with this now. Now, say for instance, I've got a load of food up here, and I want to take the food downstairs. So. Let us say, say for instance, we've got the food down here. So, we've got some meals. Let's uh, select them. Now, say underground is running out of food. Now, I want these guys on the top to pick up all these meals. Or, you know, X amount. Right, now view, if I... Oh, now, how do I get you to carry the meals? Hang on, you've got 10 meals, right? So if you come to this shaft, then we send you down. Okay. Um, where are you now? There you are. And then we go to gear. Let's move you off the lift. Okay, and then we go to gear. Dump the meals. Now, that's going to be a bit... A bit tedious to do, but still, look, I'm I'm underground. I'm underground in multiple areas. Um, let's uh, build a cop. Can we not build a copy? I can't seem to build a copy on this. Select similar. No. But anyway, that is the, the thing where you can actually uh, move near each other. Uh, I don't think there's anything new, really, to add, add with this, but I just can't believe that. That is just so awesome. Hmm. My uh, Tiberium uh, Rim series uh, failed, but uh, I do quite like the idea of playing this Deep Rim. So let, let me know in the comments below what you actually think uh, about this mod. And yeah, that, that, that does look amazingly cool. Anyway, this is Deep Rim. This is version 0 0.3 and it's RimWorld. Don't forget to lock, drop me a, 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 um, a sub and a like if you like watching these videos and you want to see some more. Anyway, that's it for now. See you later.